Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll Podcast. I'm your host, Sky. We are back in the building. Everybody say hello. What's up? What up? Welcome back. We back. The champ is here. Uh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Mr. L himself. Right. Mr. Can't take a L. To okay. save his life. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of that. Uh, before we even get started, just because I think last time I was going to talk about this and then I forgot and I watched the pod and I was like, ah, I didn't bring it up. Long time ago, as you guys may or may not know, depends on how long you've been watching the, the pod. Yeah, I'm bringing it up. Jason and I are brothers and sisters, right? <laughs> and he's older than me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and we were playing uh, basketball. He was like, all right, I guarantee oh that you can't make it to, you can't score t- two points before I can score 21, right? So the first thing that happens is I come out, I get the ball. He allows me to get first possession, uh, reverse layup, right? So I'm up one. We then go and he gets the ball, right? I, I take a shot. doesn't matter. I take a shot. And I missed the shot, right? He gets the rebound. He proceeds to treat me as if he's Shaq. And he's backing me down in the paint. Diesel, diesel, (laughs) diesel. Boom, boom, boom. So I decide to do, like Daniel Cormier says, hey, mess with a man's eagle. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I see that you obviously are strong enough to be able to back me down. Mind you, at the time, I'm only like 14, 15, okay? And I wasn't as big as I am now. Like He's a grown man, okay? Backing me down. I'm like, hey, you know, take a shot. So he goes, shoots a three, misses it. I get it. Put the shot back up. I win. He, The bet was $250 if I couldn't make the two points. <laughs> Jay sits there at the park and screams, ah, you lost, you lost. He was pissed for 30 minutes, goes, sits under a tree like Eeyore, and just pouts. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> we go back home and I'm like, I'm like, mom, I won. And he's like, I'm not giving her anything. No, she didn't. Da, da, da. Hey, pay up, my guy. And she made sure that he paid. So he Damn. is a sore, sore loser. Oh. Uh, we just gonna start with okay. making sure that y'all know that. Why he's so competitive now, because you know, that's a lifetime right there. Lifetime, yeah. You know. I'm, are you, you done? Might, you might even still be bruised from the 49ers. I don't know. Are you are done? You, are, Damn. Are you done? Oh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Damn. And the reason why I'm coming at him like this is because a couple <laughs> pods ago, like three, four pods ago, when uh, CJ and Damien wasn't on, he was over there just disrespecting Max Holloway, like to the tenth oh, degree. It, it was it was too much, and so yeah, I'm not playing nice. That's a no no. Let's go, Arno Allen. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, don't don't get that man uh, beat up like Calvin Cater. Anyways, yeah. this weekend is February fourth. The UFC is back with a card that the card yeah. that we are not absolutely excited about. You know, Derek Lewis is uh, going up against Spivak again, uh, Spivak, however you pronounce it, uh, th- which was originally scheduled for the December card, and then. Derek Lewis got sick the day of, and they still never told us why he wasn't in there. Um, but it was originally supposed to be a South Korean card, so now the dates are, like, weird. And, I mean, the timing is weird. Like, it starts at 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, which is 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. I, I doubt anybody's going to be up watching it. But, you know, it is what it is. There, there's really not much that we're going to go over. It was also supposed to be the road to the UFC. Um mm-hmm. Finale, so that's why there are so many Asians that are on the card. I'm not <laughs> gonna try to disrespect them by trying to pronounce these names, and I don't. And I feel bad. You, oh, you know what's crazy? I'm sure you guys seen that Laura Senko is going to be uh, yeah. starting to do commentary. I'm like, really, y'all gonna bury her on this card <laughs> in the morning where nobody's gonna be listening that's with these why. crazy it's ass names? It's a little, <laughs> it's a little trial. See how she can hang. Hey, y'all really trying to do her like that? It doesn't matter. I mean, only 16 people are going to be watching. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's probably why they did that. But, hey, still good for her because, you know, this is her opportunity to shine. Yeah. Facts. Maybe people tune in just just for that. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I'm going to be up, so I'm definitely going to be watching, you know, and definitely supporting um, Laura because uh, it's nice to see some, you know, just that diversity, getting some women on the uh, – 
on the commentary booth. But yeah, you know, I I'm pretty sure that, you know, it's going to be a banger of a card. That's typically what happens. The cards were like, you don't know what the hell's going on. Who is that? It's not as, you know, it doesn't have as many big names on there. Those are the cards where people are going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Pure violence. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that card. Um, one thing that everybody else did want to talk about, especially CJ, is Bellator. Bellator's card is on. Um, Ryan Bader versus Fedor. Would you like to say his last name, Jace? Amebanenko. <laughs> yeah. I always say it in my head. Amebanenko. 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 I like these haters out there. I've actually been to Russia where they have not. Damn, this dude been all over. The you you in the CIA? Yeah, man, you can't be my business out here. You can't be for my business. Yeah, what do you here. do? Damn, man, man, it's been everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Been a few places. I heard that, brother. Where so they're fight? they're saying that this is Fedor's retirement fight, but yet they're putting it at a prime time and they're putting it on a prime network. The first time that they've been back on CBS, and. It's his retirement fight for a championship. Like, uh, make it make sense. Yeah. Well, I, I just think that they expect Ryan Bader to just grapple fuck him and just get him out of there, send him packing. That's typically how it happens, I feel like. Especially, like, against a wrestler. Like, <laughs> he definitely going to take that boy down right away. Well, Bader knocked him out the last fight with him, so. Uh, oh, I don't think Bader can take him down. You don't think so? No. Uh, Sambo, baby. Sambo. Mm -hmm. we'll see That's what, you know, Habib. Especially because this is on TBS. Mm -hmm. CBS. 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 Oh, CBS. <laughs> CBS <laughs> is uh, the Slap League. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the Slap League, have any of you guys watched it? I, I've seen. I watched the first episode. I actually put it on. What, did I put it on? Yeah, I put it on. And uh, me and my son, because I didn't have literally nothing else to watch. I'm like, let me just throw this shit on while I'm cooking. And my son was interesting. Like, damn, <laughs> it is. It is that. It's just nothing. My boy. If that, I could sit there and watch it with him, then I'll be like, I'll put it on. Bonding time. My mm -hmm. boy, that I train with um, Pasadena. He fights for Street Beast as well. He has a good record and everything. He actually went on that show. Uh, he actually started that gym. We used to train in the park, and he, like, opened the gym for us to go and spar every Sunday. He actually went on that show and lost the coin toss, so he got KO'd in the first slap. <laughs> Mom, a big <laughs> motherfucker, too. Like, Dang. oh, my goodness. And it was hard to watch. And the dude, all right, so this is the thing about that is, like, <clears throat> which I want to talk about because – they have rules to this, right? You can't just go in there and just slap somebody, you know, full force. You know, there's rules that are set, and there's an expectation that you're going to follow those rules. And if you don't, you get disqualified. Mm -hmm. The dude that slapped my boy turned his hips, which I guess is, is a foul, right? He got disqualified. But they were talking about, well, he did put old boy to sleep, so... We're going we're gonna to go ahead and put him in the house anyways. <laughs> they, had, like, they had like three of those on the last episode. What is that? That doesn't even make sense to me. Why have rules if that's the case, right? Why yeah. have rules? Because if that's the case and I get to slap some, I ain't trying to get slapped second. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, for real. <laughs> well, the best way that I can, which is full force, I might even put a little knuckle in there on accident. Oops. <laughs> do I get disqualified? Do I still go to the? All right, cool. You know what yeah. I mean? It's crazy. That's crazy to me. I feel bad yeah. for my boy. All because he lost the coin toss. You know what I mean? They should have gave him a redemption slap or something because the dude, <laughs> the dude fouled right, but he was knocked. He, like he couldn't continue after that. <laughs> he couldn't. Yeah. There, ain't, there ain't no slapping after that. You know what I mean? You probably should it <clears throat> to the hotel room. I I personally have zero desire to watch slap league. Um, I think it's for bottom feeders, koi fish, catfish, you know, there's just, there's no appeal to it. You know, it's like going to a bar on Friday night and seeing two drunk guys pound it out. Pause. Who's um, he definitely likes seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just not, it, it doesn't appeal to me. There is, uh, there is no 
compelling thing about it. You know, uh, I, I really like what Arrow Hawani said. Why watch an entire hour show when really you can watch the entire thing in a reel? Right. I would actually say Pretty that the much. show. Yeah. I I like the show aspect of it, um, especially because it, it, it's like tough, except. <clears throat> They've added, you know, they have the little slaps instead of the, the regular fights. Surprisingly, you know, Danny, who has a problem with looking at ground and pound, like in a regular MMA fight, has no problem watching slap. She enjoys it. Like, she actually sits there and will be like, oh, wait, rewind that. And I'm just like, how <laughs> is it that you're able to sit here and watch this? But, like, if there's some ground and pound, she's like, oh, absolutely not. Like, once they're, like, bleeding and on the ground, she cannot watch. She will not watch. Um, yeah, so I think... It's appealing. It has to be appealing to, to to somebody, right? And I think like they even talked about how like it's big in Europe. Like it's been big in Europe, and now you know um, Dana White's trying to bring it in over here. And you know we'll see. We'll see. You know at the end of the day how well it does or how well it doesn't or how bad it does. Um, for me, I've been watching it just because I, I don't know. It's something about it that I'm just like ah like. I think another thing to point out is that Jace has said before that he doesn't necessarily like watch MMA to see people get starched. Like that's not like his favorite thing to see is like somebody just like knocked out on the canvas. That's my favorite. Like, e or even if you get choked out, like, like if somebody just gets choked out and they're just like, uh, like that's fascinating to me. Finishes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Finishes. And so like, I, I, I appreciate a chess match, you know, but at the same time, like I, I enjoy like seeing somebody just get starts like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So I think that like slap is definitely something that wouldn't appeal to you, Jace. Yeah. Well, well I think that's what the beauty of MMA is though. It's mm -hmm. one of those unknown things that any, anything can happen. That's why I talk about <laughs> it all the time when people say, Hey, this person has no chance, bro. You don't fucking know what's going to happen in, in a yeah. fight. Like I said, Ryan Bader is not supposed to be beating Fader, but guess what? He did. He knocked his ass out. If you're in a scrap, anything can happen. These guys are all high level and high skilled to be fighting at all types of things. Anything could happen. That's why it's so beautiful. In boxing, more than ten, uh, nine out of ten times, the guy who's just better is just going to whoop that guy's ass. Yeah. In MMA, you really do have that puncher's chance to get in there and knock somebody. Look at Bruno Silva uh, two weeks ago. He knocked out Robocop. Nobody really thought about it. Anybody, anything could happen in the in the octagon or any yeah. ring. What is the biggest upset in MMA ever? Matt Sarah GSP, Holly Holm, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. I was thinking Holly Holm <laughs> GSP is the bigger one. Yeah. Case in point, he hit him with a spinning back fist. Like, where is that coming from? <laughs> out of nowhere. And it boom, popped him. He's out of there. Yeah. That that probably takes the cake right there, honestly. Speaking of upsets, your boy Matt, uh, uh cannot pronounce Max Ross, whatever y'all see the name up there. Uh, the guy that quit on on his UFC debut, he'll be oh, making yeah, yeah, his yeah, yeah. Bellator debut mm -hmm. as well on the prelims this Friday or this Saturday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. oh nice, okay. Yeah, he'll be making out. his uh his his debut against Chris Gonzalez. So you know. He's had time to properly. He's been fighting in Cage Warriors. I think he's had two or three fights in Cage Warriors since then, um, and now he's making his debut at uh, Bellator. So hopefully, you know, since he had an opportunity to like step away and properly prepare for his fights, because his UFC debut, I think he came in on like two or three weeks notice, and obviously his cardio failed him at the end of the second round, and we know what happened. He was like, "Hey, I don't want to go out there." Yeah. yeah. You're a champion. No, I'm not. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, so and it's funny. You you remember you posted that on TikTok a, a couple months mm -hmm. ago, and people yeah. are so big and bad. And he's like, ah, oh, he's a quitter. He's a quitter. I'm like, bro, you wouldn't even make the weight cut to get in there. Yeah, quitting yeah. is not never stepping in the octagon again and saying, hey, I can't do this sport. I just suck at it. I can't step in no more. Yes. Hey, look at him. He said, hey, man, this fight is not my fight. He threw in the towel. He hey, now he's back in there. Hopefully, he does well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, go ahead. Jamie. I was gonna say only him, like only his body could tell him like what he's been going through. You know what I mean? Yes, like sir. you don't yeah. know what he, he probably went into that fight injured. You don't even know. Like 
You know what I mean? He still stepped up to the plate and took the fight. So that's why I always respect like anybody that's competing in a in a in a yeah. combat sport. Like you got my ultimate respect. Even if we talking shit about you, Sean Strickland, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> 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 nah, but even if we're talking shit, like there's there's a deep down like a moral like respect. agreement and respect. Yeah, like damn, you right. you a soldier for real. And that's another like, thing, this is this isn't checkers. The man could literally go in there and get seriously, seriously hurt. He could if die. He's not all the way. Yeah. He can die in that in that ring. So yeah. if he knew he wasn't ready to go, he tapped himself out. Hey, man, more power to you, brother. Mm-hmm. Facts. And I like, like the fight I always, another day. Right. And I always say, like, to me, the most scariest thing in the world has to be being tired as fuck and knowing that the man across from you is coming to shut your lights out. Fresh. Make you concuss. Fresh. Like that's terrifying. Like, I, like, hey, if you can't do it, don't do it. Don't do yeah. it. That's. I mean, that's what uh, Uncle Chell talks about all the time. The one thing a fighter fears the most is not his opponent. It's exhaustion. Mm-hmm. Can he compete with exhaustion? Because I know I've only been exhausted one time in my entire life, where I literally felt like I was going to throw up from exercise. It's only happened once. It will never happen again. I don't want to put myself in that position for it to happen again, nor will I. <laughs> That's a real thing, though. He said, we- I ain't never exercising again. <laughs> <laughs> Not that hard. I, I literally started dry heaving. Like I was so yeah. tired, I, and I've never experienced that. I feel like that's not necessary unless you're doing something like extreme where you're gonna need that. You know what I mean? Yeah. People be out here trying to train like Olympians, but be working a nine to five every day and, and you're sitting on their ass in between time. You know what I mean? It's unnecessary. Yeah, but, I mean to be fair, like I wasn't doing much. I was just taking a shit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, brother. Oh, you good. I, I, I lost my train of thought, though. I was going with that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, you know, with the exhaustion thing, where if you get so exhausted, because I've been there. I've been there plenty of times where you get so exhausted, where you want to put your hands down and taking a breather is is in your mind, more pleasant than taking the next punch or kick to the face, right? (laughs) I got to take this breath. I need need to relax. Like, my muscles are tired. I need to take a breather. I'm going to just eat a few shots real quick, and then I'll be, (laughs) you know, then I'll be good to pick my hands up. (laughs) It really be like that, which not competing where this man is trying to kill you. Yeah, that that's the scare. That has to be like on par with drowning or falling mm-hmm. to your death, like or dying in a fire. Like that shit is scary. Facts, facts. Um. So I know CJ, you watch a lot of Bellator. Um, are there any fights aside from the main event that we should be looking out for? I didn't even. I seen this just the fader card and uh the thing with Bellator they don't put on good shows like the the top fight will be interesting and everything else you be like who the hell are these dudes so i really right. don't even know i'm gonna watch it because it'll be on earlier in the day to see what's going on but the show and i hate their production of their show i hate hearing their steps moving around on the on the on the mats i just i can't do it yeah but i'm gonna watch it For and i was sure. thinking they're coming they're coming to uh temecula in march are but they? that card is trash too. It's uh, who's on that card? Cat <laughs> Zingano's fighting. And I'm oh, like, damn, okay. they want to, yeah, they want to spend a little bit of that money to go out there and watch it. But there's nobody else on the card, so I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's well, close I, to home. I would say you gotta watch the middleweight title. That's uh, Johnny Eblin and oh, Eblin, yeah, Eblin, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's, he's good. Sorry, good. You know, but he's he going to crack too. Yeah, he's going against a Russian monster, thirteen and two, mm. by two two draws, undefeated. You know, damn. So Evelyn, Evelyn's the one that beat Musasi, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, made him look ordinary. Yeah, yeah. And, and your boy Gagard. Gagard is a monster. Stop. Hey, Gagard is that dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gagard is that dude, but. He's one of those dudes that got a lot of fight miles on him too, you know. Oh, 
he's got like 60 fights. If he brings yeah. up his, his 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 record, it's got to yeah. be at least 60 fights. Yeah. And, and he's not even that old. Yeah. yeah. He's not even that old. Uh, 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 what's old boy's name? McDonald, you know what I'm talking about? Rory McDonald. Rory? Yeah. Yeah. Coming from yeah, a TriStar like, fight camp, boy. fought under GSP. Like, he's a good fighter, but my boy done taking some damage. <laughs> that man yeah. been through some wars, you know what I mean? So Yeah. Uh, I'm looking up Gregor Mursasi. 59 fights thus Damn. far. Gay Going guard. all the way back to 2003. Yeah. Gay guard. that dude, man. He's one of those dudes that could do it all, too. <sighs> Oh, he's a dog. I mean, yeah. there's there's some dogs in the Bellator people don't really think about. Gay guard, Douglas Lima. Douglas Lima, dog. MVP. Maybe the best. And his brother Diego. Thing. MVP yep. is a monster. Man, did you watch that fight when the dude just wrestled him up? I was pissed off. I was like, this dude's <laughs> not giving him a chance to do nothing. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, yeah. like, oh, dude, but dude was not even striking him though. I was like, punch him. <laughs> Do nah, something to him. This man but, trying to take the it, W was it, going home without a black eye. Was it as bad as uh Stotts versus Sabatella? It was worse. I think it was worse. Dang. So there was like no offense. Because because at least Rafion, he can uh he has good wrestling as well. MVP don't have <laughs> no wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, so it, it he was, was like a, it was like your boy Mark. Madsen. Oh, hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Mark Madsen. I I do not want to watch any of his fights. The laying and praying has to stop. Like it just has to. I'm all for wrestling. I'm all. I don't have a problem with wrestling, grappling, jujitsu. But if you're just going to lay there with no offense, I do not want to watch you. I'm not going to. As long as they keep winning, they're gonna keep doing that shit. And and the judges need to tighten up. Like. Look like look at the results. Hey, you know what I mean? Fighters, though, take no damage. They don't like the wrestlers. They take no damage. So you see these wrestlers like fighting for years. <laughs> I don't <laughs> you know. know. Uh, They're not taking any damage. I think. Well, I was gonna say Curtis Blade says, "Hold my beer." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Man, hey, he was I need to repost that. that. My god, man, because the that black beast. <laughs> I just rewatched that. He, he was hit him with an yeah. impact. <laughs> he, hit him, he hit him with an old school street fighter, a duke. And... <laughs> <laughs> you can... Shit, hey, even older than that, he was like, I'm going to send you to the moon, bro. <laughs> that was bad. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> I was one of them Francis and Gano type KOs. It just, it, you just didn't have a camera to capture it like in the right position, but guarantee yeah. you. Yeah. Was, yep. Uh, 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 after that punch. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, real quick, let's get into it because there's been a lot of fight I was news. Just about to say that. A lot yeah. of fight news that popped off. Oh, uh man. let's start off with the boy, Israel Adesanya versus Alex Alex Piera. Career suicide. Stop. Career you think so? suicide. A hundred percent. Career suicide. Oh. What is he thinking? Why are you trying to do Izzy like that? Hey, Izzy Oh, Izzy got him before. Izzy no, he, got he knocked out ball. before, yes. <laughs> and, 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 and before that, Izzy got knocked out before. You yeah. see that? It's, it's, yeah. it's a repeat, right? It's, <laughs> I've seen this story before. I it's like, that, for example, real yeah. fast, it's like Deontay Wilder fighting Tyson Fury. I know how this story <laughs> ends. I don't have to watch it. I'm going to, but I know how the story's end. Damn, that's and what Damien said last time. That's like that's like Raven Simone when she has one of them visions. <laughs> She's like, you can do whatever you want to do, but the vision still going fucking come true. <laughs> you know what? I just I can't go against Izzy. Now, last time I was like, "Hey, I wanted to shake up the division, something new." Dude, well, they're uh, fucking false, guys. <laughs> but, but I'm off that now. I'm off that now. Like the division has been shaken. You know, that's enough. I, I just feel like I feel the same way about this Izzy fight is the same way I feel about Edmund. I mean, Edward versus Usman. Right. I feel like both of them were winning. You know, they were winning throughout the whole fight. And then the last minute or two inside the fifth round, you know, they lost it. Um, and I, it's just hard for me to go against Izzy. And I'm really interested to see now that he, like he said, like the hunter is now the hunted. You know what I mean? So now he's going to have to be more aggressive. He's going to have to go out there and take the belt off the champ. 
Uh, and I just, I just wonder. <laughs> Shut up, Jace. Why are you laughing? How, how are you going to hunt the alpha male? That's what I was saying. I'm, Izzy got to put some fucking CJ, muscle. CJ, don't going, let them do yeah. Izzy like that. Hey. Bully. Lions and sharks get killed every day, B. Hey. <laughs> every day. Oh, man. So, But I was thinking that, that, that fight's in April? April 8th, yeah. April 8th. So I, I'm also thinking that it was kind of smarter for Izzy to take that fight a little bit earlier. So Glover's not teaching Alex how to grapple a lot better in a longer period of time. He doesn't pick up another fight so he can work on those skills against someone else. So like we always say, man, it's always good until it ain't. We shall see. You know who the fuck I'm going for. Bruh, Win, lose, or draw. Ain't Alex Pereira? Ain't nobody afraid of Alex Pereira's grappling, bro. Ain't well, nobody they are afraid of. We afraid of the stand-up, dog. Right. Yeah. I but want him. Izzy was, was able to hold stages. him down. Grapple, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. I would feel better for Izzy if if Alex started to try to shoot takedowns on him. <laughs> no, not well, about the shooting the takedowns. It's about getting right back up oh, when he's when getting he's grappled up. Hit. You know what I'm saying? He's not gonna shoot no fucking takedowns at all, bro. Oh, Hell no. Nah. It's about to get back, <laughs> getting back I, up. I, I definitely think that they go back in the uh, city kickboxing goes back and watch that third round. How Izzy just was able to control him on the ground. Like if Israel Adesanya can control you on the ground, I, hey, the clinch in <laughs> the clinch, the board, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if Izzy gets that hook in the next time and flattens him out, I mean, Gosh, he's got to he's got to grapple that, more. Bro. My son has been doing jujitsu since he was five years old. He knows how to get his goddamn hooks in. Yeah. Like, get them in and leave them in and just, you know, yes. throw those punches like, to fight. Like, row number one. Right Yo, in. you guys are trying to, like, you guys are forgetting, though, that, like, Izzy is not an elite grappler. No, yeah. but he was also able to hold uh, <laughs> Alex down for a whole yeah. round. And he also got knocked the fuck out again. <laughs> Hey, he didn't go out though. His head was still moving, baby. Yeah, he didn't. Get, yeah, he didn't get. He didn't get uh, Curtis Blades. All right. <laughs> oh, maybe you should watch the fight they fought before then, where he literally was unconscious. His soul left his body. You know, we're not gonna let you do easy like that. We're not talking about the past like that. Right. Man, I'm not a whole different like sport. That. That's a different sport. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 there's a couple of things, right? Izzy tried to and make it seem like Izzy got to stand an eight count in the second round of that fight with him, so he almost knocked him out. The ref That's, stepped in. That was the same exact story told twice. <laughs> so he, he, there's a lot of woulda, coulda, shoulda, nigga, go to sleep. Izzy, I'm riding for you. I don't care. Hey, I don't, do I don't it. care. I don't care what do they it. say. Real okay. fast before we move on for this, I just want to say Izzy used to talk about it like he's the most elite striker. He'll never shoot for a takedown. <laughs> I never heard that. Hey, he is elite though. He is he one is. of the most elite, I would say. Until he met someone who is more. <laughs> it's oh, not, do I you honestly think, think that Alex is elite? No. Right? It's it's the it's the power and the weight behind the shots. That's yeah. all it is. <laughs> yeah, because that's a big motherfucker, bro. Yeah, he's a big solid dude. Yeah. I that's knocked that nigga out. Fucking, you know, man, bro. Chase, you legitimately think that Alex is a better striker than Israel Adesanya? It, t- did he not prove it twice? Not to Stop. mention, not to mention beyond Stop. that, not to mention beyond that, you all forgetting like you know, uh, Alex is a two time two division champion in kickboxing itself. So let's just not act like that he's out there just throwing bombs, right? Like your boy has skills. His striking is not better than his. If we did a highlight reel of Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira side by side, guarantee you Israel Adesanya got the more unique, dynamic, yes. dynamic, like I'm telling you. Skillful. He's a, he's a his bit question skillful. mark kick is chef kiss. It, it's the best. No, it's I not. <laughs> I do not like you right now. I do not like you right now. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, man, he Stephen really is Thompson. Stephen Thompson has a better question mark kick. Okay, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Alex Pereira. Oh, if we're just talking about these two side by side, I'll just continuously show the highlight reel of Alex knocking him out. Yeah, <laughs> Let's on. move on to the next one. 
Let, let's move on to your boy. Oh, that one. Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal. Um, so this is not a repeat, but I'm going to say this again. Career suicide. Mm. For? Game bread. Career suicide. Think it's so? I think, I think he might have an opportunity here to actually win this one and come back and still be a household name somehow. I don't see it. I, I feel like Masvidal is that type of guy that be like doing the unthinkable. You know what it is for me? It's Gilbert has the power, but mostly Gilbert has the jujitsu and the he grappling. has the grappling. And I, I don't I don't live in this fantasy world to where like people are like, oh, you're a crotch sniffer and blah, blah. Listen, man, you signed up to fight in an MMA promotion. You could have just went kickboxing. You could have just went boxing. You came to an MMA promotion. Therefore, if a motherfucker want to take you down, learn how to get up. And if I'm Gilbert, I'm not going to play into all of this. Oh, I'm not going to take you down. Don't do none of that. Don't play into none of that BS. Take that man down, drown him, and choke him out. I think Gilbert has that ego behind him, though, where he's going to want to try to stand. And, and that's where you're going to get fucked up. <laughs> I, feel like that's what is, I feel like that's what this fight is going to be. Don't do that. <laughs> Are you talking about Kevin Holland? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't do what Kevin Holland did, thinking that you about to go inside there. Because I think Masvidal is faster. But Burns, I think, yeah, I just think Masvidal is, is faster on the feet than um, than Burns is. and But Burns got that power. But, yeah, Burns, Burns has is. real power. And Burns is super okay. fast and athletic. Yeah, Masvidal is crafty. He, yeah, Masvidal is real crafty. He's an old school vet, but uh, he doesn't have it for this fight right now, man. He has too much antics and shit going on the back end to have a full like and I'm a I'm a basketball fan. I've been watching this motherfucker for a long time. Win, lose, mm-hmm. draw, all that bullshit. I don't have to go through that shit. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> go ahead, Jay. Oh, I was just gonna say side note, um apparently they're trying to put this card in Masvidal's backyard, the MIA the three oh five. Miami. Miami. Mm. Which I mean it sounds good, but at the same time like Israel Adesanya Versus Alex is the is the main card. Like this ain't got nothing to do with neither one of their roots. <laughs> no, no, because if it's in Miami, it's kind of going to be like a, a Nate Diaz where he's on the undercard, but everyone's still showing up to fight Nate. If it's in Masvidal's hometown, all the fans are going to be there to see him. That's his hometown kid. Come on. Yeah, I, I feel that. Unfortunately, but, yeah. he's going to get fucked up because what is his path to victory? Mm. Luck. Luck, yeah. He Three going, piece in a soda? He going, yeah, he going to do some crazy he still, He still has those hands. Like I said, he's still yeah. swift. It's, it's still and Burns place. gets his chin touched every so often, and he does wobble a little bit. But I don't think Masvidal has the power to put him Burns, down. Burns he's not going to put him away. Kamaru knocked him down with a jab. Yep. Jab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kamsa knocked him down with a jab, bro. That's a wrestler. <laughs> hey, Burns, hey, Burns got Usman too, though. He rocked his shit a little bit. Had him, in the had first him a round. Stubbly. In the first yeah. round. He yeah. had him shook a little bit, right? But, but, yeah. but also, he was like, oh, my God. I mean, when is the last time Masvidal won a fight? How many years ago? I told you, 2019. It's been a long 2019 time. 2019 versus oh. Diaz. But, it, but he's still been active. Yeah. Actively losing. Got it. <laughs> but the last fights he lost, who were to the champ and to, to your the, man's call. Yeah, to big motherfuckers like that. And, I mean, but he. Still, you guys, we got to get real honest here. Like, we really have to get honest here. Jorge Masvidal. Hot is... take coming. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not that guy. Like, if if you take out the Nate Diaz calling him out, what he just would have been a dude. He would have been a dude that knocked out Ben Askren. And that would have been it. We just would have watched that highlight reel, and that would have been it. If he doesn't fight Nate, Nate gave him the rub. This is when he took off. And ever since then, he didn't got knocked out into oblivion by Usman of all fucking people. He got out wrestled and then he went and got out wrestled again. Like, 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 I don't understand the stardom. I, I don't understand it. Now I'm happy that he's getting his money. Get your fucking money. But at the same time, like he's just not that guy. Like I feel like people have like created him to be in this person that like he's legitimately just isn't that fighter if he doesn't fight nate he's a run of a mill 15 top 15 fighter 
Did you forget Stephen Thompson going to going to bed? Or uh, uh, Stephen uh, Thompson beat Jorge. No, not yeah. Thompson. You talking about Darren Till? Darren Till. Who yeah. is Darren Till? Darren Till <laughs> proved to be a top fifteen too. He was that guy, at but the... at that time he was yeah. a prospect. Yeah, he was. And that... the thing is, crazy after with after, after, off, was that after Woodley knocked him out, this. was that after Woodley knocked him out? Yeah. Who <laughs> Till? Yeah, so Woodley already got in his ass. Yeah. Pause. But, yeah, but I was about to say if you, I know he's older and stuff, so he probably don't want to make that cut back down to fifty five. But if you look at him and his body, pause. He's not a big guy. He probably shouldn't. He probably shouldn't be at seventy. He's way smaller than everybody in in that division. So he doesn't. His power doesn't hold over at seventy. Say, yeah, because he's not like cutting weight to make that weight or anything. I feel like that's yeah, he's really near his walk around weight over there. Yeah, he walks around probably one seventy eight, one eighty tops. Yeah, one eighty yeah, tops, bro. Wow. Yeah. Then he yeah. should have been able to get down with uh with Mister Number Two. Yeah, because yeah. he don't walk around heavy. He walk around like one eighty tops as well. And like we don't like 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 Jay say, it's a scrap. It is what it is. But the, you see, he wasn't trying to throw no hands with him at all. I just watched a video on Mazel. I had him. Sh- whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, yeah, he had him shook again. But that's the thing with Masvidal, bro. He's he's crafty. And he will he, touch you up a little bit, but it's just not going to equate. Be switching stances and doing like, cutting yeah. angles and stuff. I'd be like, all right, I see you. Like he really be crafty. So I'm, yeah. I'm gonna count him out. That's all. I'm How's he say. going to out. handle the grappling? I'm counting if, him out, and that's my guy. If he <laughs> Yeah, you know, and then right after, what was you going to say, Jace? I was just going to say, like, you know, he said that he wanted this fight, and I don't know why. Again, what is his path to victory, right? He held out for Connor. Well, it's not even Connor, though. Like, right, he could have went, because I think he needs some money, right? But I think he could have went Stephen yep. Thompson, right? He could have went Kevin Holland, right? I would have liked to see Kevin Holland. Stand up base, you know what I mean? Where, like, he feels, I mean, because he talks about, how no one can mess with his power, his knees and elbows. So put yourself in a position. You know, at the end of the day, even if you tag Gilbert Burns, he's going to grab you. He's going to yes. throw you to the ground, and you're not going to be able to do shit about it. But mm-hmm. what's crazy about this too is why my guy Burns. Burns is at what right now? Three or four? Four. It don't make no sense for him to be fighting eleven. Ex- exactly. Why is he going that way? Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. One hundred percent. Where's your boy why. Colby at? I'll tell you 100% why Burns take this fight. One, it's easy. It's a bad fight. It's a bad <laughs> fight, too. One, it's easy. Two, right? Gilbert Burns is not a household name, right? Where I would say now, as far as UFC signed athletes, uh, Jorge is probably two or three as far as the most popular, well-known UFC fighters. So people are going to get so hyped to see Jorge, and then they're going to see this man take his soul. Let me get but these Jay, more Instagram If he followers. fights Kobe, he gets that same rub, though. Kobe still gets that same amount of press that Masvidal does. No, no. What? In what in what universe? Hey, people love that motherfucker. People Jay love does. Kobe. I don't love Kobe. I you respect should, him. You love that nigga. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Jorge M- 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 Masvidal it's, it's almost getting known with casuals, right? Where Kobe is not known with any casual in the world. Gotcha. I, I understand. Yeah. Say that again. I didn't say it again. Basically, what he's saying is, is that like we always use our oldest brother as like the um, marker. The marker to say like, because he's a casual. You know what I mean? Like, so like if I ask my brother, do you know who Kobe Covington is? Absolutely not. He has no idea. He's going to start trying to make it into a football player, right? If I ask him who Masvidal is, he will mm, he'll be like, yeah, that name sounds familiar. Like, I think I've seen him. Like, the casual people are able to recognize Masvidal a lot more than they would Kobe Covington. The Trumpers, now they know their boy Kobe. <laughs> That's so funny that you say that, though, because I literally was, I was, I don't never go back and forth for motherfuckers on TikTok, but I was like, you know, I ain't got time. I'm too drunk for that shit. I was like, Masvidal, somebody was saying something, and he was like, well, Masvidal is not famous. I'm like, well, maybe not to you. Yeah. Or or in the mi- microcosm of, of what fame is. Like, mm-hmm. motherfuckers ain't famous to everybody, you know what I'm saying? But Masvidal been around for a long time in a community that's of uh, MMA, which is not a big-ass community, you know what I'm saying? Right. He's pretty 
Hey, he's been around a long ass fucking time, and he does a lot of bullshit to keep his name around. Yeah. So, and he's not a top ten fighter. He's not a top fucking twenty fighter right now. But he right. keeps his name fucking relevant. Is he famous to the next Joe Smo across the street? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? And I told the dude, I was like, a lot of MMA fighters who you think are famous are really not famous. Like, case in point, Paulo Costa was at Six Flags and nobody batted the eye at this dude. Yeah. <laughs> nah. So yeah. it's like... Meanwhile, yeah, but I would like to have seen Burns fight Kobe, though. Yeah. I, I think that I, I would have liked to have seen uh, Burns fight Kobe, but Kobe's not fighting nobody. You know, he's he's claiming that he has brain damage. So, you know. <laughs> hey, get his bag. Hey, big yeah. Kevin. He's a Kevin. You know, but but <laughs> speaking of Kevin, Kevin is on his card fighting against oh, yeah. Pons and Nibio. Uh, and like you said, Jace, actually, that would have been great. Masvidal versus Kevin, because Kevin, he's obviously going to respect the code. Yeah. And uh, sorry, CJ. Yeah, he's going to respect the code. And and stand on the feet with you, like that's what he wants to do. So that would have been better for Masvidal, but instead and they both would have been Nibio. good talking. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, the UFC love Kevin Holland, don't they? They keep giving him top to, opponents, trying to get him in that top fifteen. <laughs> I wanted to say yo, shout out to Kevin Holland because this man been fighting nonstop. Wow. Uh, Since ever, like 2020. <laughs> For real, though, nonstop and always like entertaining fights, even when he lost the country. When he loses, like, the, yeah, yeah, like it was still entertaining because we were like, "Oh shit, what's gonna happen?" <laughs> we were on the edge of our seats, like, "Damn!" I, I think the the UFC is just trying to make him the new Cowboy Cerrone. Like he would never ever fight for the title. He'd never be top tier, right? But he's he's uh, a fan fan friendly fighter, right? Who has a reputation for any time, any place, anywhere. I'm, I'm okay. I'm gonna ask you, Sky. Um, can you look how many fights he's had since 2020? Because every time I see him, he's fighting somebody. I want to say, say got seven or eight. <laughs> yeah, because I did um, a thing on like most contender series wins, and I know for sure he has the most contender series win out of any contender series um, alumni. He has ten wins, but yeah, let me see. Let me pull up how many fights he's had since 2020, including 2020. Like yeah, he seems like he's always in the octagon. Always. Stepping in short notice, whatever. He well, yeah, the car. he's had 12, 12 fights. Because remember, 2020 was when he became Mr. 2020. He had those five yeah. fights. Yeah. And he yeah. won all of them. Um, then he ran into the wrestlers. Yep. That's <laughs> crazy. Reality yeah, check. Them wrestlers ain't no joke. Once you run into the Marvin Vittori's and the uh, Derek Brunson, like you already know it's a wrap. So I'm excited to see Ponzinibbio uh, and Holland go at it because, as we know, like Ponzinibbio came out there, was losing to Alex uh, Morono, and came out there and put him to sleep. Yeah, Ponzinibbio. Ponzinibbio gets it done. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun fight. Ponzinibbio gets it done. Decision. Yeah, it's gonna be a decision. Kevin Holland ain't going out. Eighteen year old star Raul <laughs> Rosas Jr. Uh-oh. making his making his uh second fight. Second. Hey, Optimus you guys! After serving Jay Perrin his finish? papers, what'd Man. you say? You think it's a first round finish again from him? Is he like the little Mackenzie Dern on his way up? Um, sure. Why not? You Why not? You think he got hands? You think like somebody starts stuffing takedowns, he he in a world of trouble? That's that's what I that's what I've been waiting to see. I mm. want to see how he takes a how he takes a punch, mm-hmm. like a real punch. You know what I mean? So uh, it's gonna be interesting. At least with Chris Rodriguez, um, he'll be like, you know, they're close in age, close. I think Chris is twenty two or twenty three, one of those. Um, and he's uh, fast. I think he might be twenty. Cause I didn't, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm, just started thinking about his brother because I just watched his brother fight. Oh, okay. Um, I think he just lost. I would yeah. love for him after uh, if he wins the fight just to get on the mic and say, "Baby Ruth." <laughs> okay, let's talk about this really quickly because I think that it's important. Uh, also, just to point out that like he does have a cleft lip, um, and because of where he was born, and obviously did not have the medical. Um, didn't have, you know, the money for medical to be able to, to get the extensive surgeries that you have to get. Um, that's why his jaw and his face is the way that it is. So just know that when you're talking about this 18 year old kid, you're talking about somebody with a medical con- condition. Uh, and- case. That will Baby fun. Ruth. 
<laughs> hey, but if he did that, he can do sponsorship though. Pay me. Yeah. You gotta make that money every way <laughs> any way you can. Yeah, you know, so like, yeah, he looks very unique, but um I yeah. like the kid. I'm I'm just not gonna make fun of nobody's uh, medical condition that they have no control over. He was born that way. Um and he confident fired. And, and really, really it's a I feat to, to be able to, to make it through like um, cause I have two godsons that have cleft lips, um, and they're having to go through a lot of surgeries right now as well. But yep. like cleft palate isn't just like, oh, you know, like you see the scar it's on their the lips. Like, and stuff it's too. everything. Like there can be all yeah. kind of holes and things that are missing inside of you. So like, we don't even know what his breathing, like what his nose yep. structure actually really looks like. Like, you know, cause he already has like a nasally tone. So I wish he'd talk about it more cause he hasn't like publicly addressed it. He just like takes it on yeah. the chin you know like when people are talking crazy but um but yeah I, i'm excited to see raul like I, i'm a fan i don't I know like why him. he's dope because uh i was watching uh fury fc and mm-hmm. his brother lost the fight and they interviewed with, uh raul and dude was like i'm gonna be the 135 145 <laughs> And the 155 yeah. <laughs> with the strap i'm like hey bro you got confidence do your thing man yeah, the youngest yeah. <laughs> That's how you yeah. got to think, though. What you going to do yeah. is say, I'm going to come in there and just get beat by everybody? That's why the right. young fighters be dangerous, as dangerous as they are, right? Because they kind of ignorant. They they, yeah. they ain't lost. They don't know. They don't know no better. Yeah, they mm-hmm. don't know no better, right? So, you know, a lot of people watch these fights be like, oh, well, I can't wait till old boy gets humble, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, nah, like, I like this. I like this shine, and I want to see him shine, you know. And if it loses, like, I'll... I'll be there for that too, you know, because it yeah. is a learning opportunity. And we, in yeah. the back of our mind, are like, you know, we respect how you're talking and shit, but keep in mind, like, you ain't here with the big dogs now. You ain't here with the killers, dog. Yeah. Somebody stop three, four, five of your takedowns, you're going to be in there looking lost. You, mm-hmm. you feel me? So we'll see how you handle yourself then. But all in all, you know, with that confidence level, he probably won't even feel it. He's like, oh, you stuffing my takedowns, whatever. I'm going to clinch you and put you in a standing, you know, a, 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 a fucking, what do you call that? Flying Yo, triangle Jane. or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, that's why I love this sport, man. You, you, I, I can't get enough of it. They keep br- they that, keep bringing us new fighters, too. Like, I love it. It, it never ends. You get yeah. that. And that's the thing with him. He still got that young man, this energy that can just go and go <laughs> and go and just go and not get tired. So. Yeah. Kevin Gates. Yeah. Um, and then I, I, I'm calling it right now. Fight of the night. Rob Font versus Adrian Yanez. I love, love, love Adrian Yanez. Mm. I love Yeah, Adrian me too. Yanez. I love his boxing. I, I actually, and y'all know how much I love Max, but I, I feel like uh, Adrian Yanez has the best boxing in the UFC. It's just yeah, so Yeah, he was a gold glove. It's so crisp. Really? It's so crisp. Yeah, he was a gold glove. I, I can't even recognize him. I'm going to have to go back and watch some oh, of his. Oh, you love- watch him fight Kelly. You have watch seen him. Fight Kelly. I have. Trust yeah, me. Watch you him see him. Him. Photo because it's like blurred out, but yeah, when um yeah, and most of his fights are finishes. Um, yeah. I think only one went to decision, and um, it was a close uh, it was a close fight. But uh, yeah, he's a contender series dude. But like his, he is good. Like they really wanted like when Sean O'Malley had entered in the top fifteen, they really wanted him versus Sean, um, mm. because like they're both like super just like crisp on the feet. But you know, Rob Font coming off getting destroyed. Hmm. Who did? Who just got done describing Rob Font? Oh, um, Cheeto. Cheeto. Oh, Cheeto. Yeah. Cheeto destroyed Rob, and then before that, that Rob just. Dist- it's so weird though, because Rob. like Rob was doing like yeah. real good, Rob, and he really Rob. wasn't like. <laughs> nah, I mean, like he had fiddle hands or something, because he was yeah, punching the fuck out of uh, Cheeto. He was landing. He was landing crisp combinations, and then Cheeto would like look at him and smile and be like, oh, and then drop him. Yeah, yep. <laughs> <Beep, beep. laughs> him every it round. Right it was like, damn. Yeah, you could see it. He was wearing the damage. Where Cheeto, a little bit, but like when Cheeto landed, it was like, nah, bro. He he was disrespecting yeah. your power, bro. That's what it was. He was walking it down, taking yeah. him, and then banging him, boom, putting him down. Y'all, these next pay per views are just ridiculous. They're just absolutely stupid. It doesn't even make any sense. Like, you know, obviously we have Islam versus Volkanovsky. Um, that paper card, that, that pay-per-view actually isn't the greatest great. pay-per-view yeah. card. Yeah. But, like, Top the rest bottom. after that, you know what I mean? When you get to John Jones versus Gone, and then after that you got Usman um, versus Leon. Like, 
And then, like, you know, obviously we've been talking about the April 8th card. Like, it's just, like, some really good fights that are coming up. And I'm just, like, thinking to myself, like, what's what y'all going to give us for the rest of the, like, hey. the middle of the year? Like, uh, we who's going to fight? This guy is in, in uh, next month. Is on only one pay-per-view? For what? Is it only one main pay-per-view? Like April? a number pay-per-view in oh, February. Well, this yeah. month, actually. That's yeah, yeah. February is only going to be Islam, which is next weekend. I'm excited. Yeah. You know, we get to f- find out what's really going on. Yair and Josh, um, they tried to rebuild this card back up. It's all right. Um, who you got in that fight? Who? Josh, Emmett, and uh, Yair. Oh, I'm going with Yair. I just, um, I, I think he's too dynamic. Like, I had actual fear in my heart when he was fighting Max, and there's not many he people had, that make He had some fun. moments. Yeah, yeah, he had moments, and, like... Shit. And, but just in general, like, we know how Yair is. Like, he come out the woodworks with anything. Like, look, yeah. that knockout on yeah. Zombie, like, that, that was insane. I forever that I'll never forget. Rent-free. Yeah. I, 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 I was watching I, that fight, like, so happy for the Korean Zombie all the way up to the very last second. <laughs> Literally, oh, I'm a little like f- pissed off that we never got to see Yair against Zabit because that was just been the craziest, randomest fucking fight that could we ever could ask for. He I'm said missing. he might be trying to come back for one more. What Zabit? What even? Happened? Yeah. Well, I don't even get the story behind all that. Like, what happened? I he think just, he said some right? medical stuff what? or something. We saw him fight live, right? I think that was yeah. the first time he fought. Yeah, it was. That's crazy. That was four years ago? Three oh, years ago? A minute ago. That had to be at least... Uh, that had to be four years ago. Schedule for beat. He, he's big for 45, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it was the weight thing, and then and then he retired. <laughs> Shit was crazy. Because he was an up-and-comer. Yeah, that, uh, Abraham Lincoln? Oh, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. He was a fighter. Yep, it real. was it was 2019. No, no, no. His last fight was against Cater in 2019. Um, fight of the night. Oh, we cool. seen him at UFC 235. Yeah, 235. Who was he against? Jeremy Stevens. Stevens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stevens. Speaking of Jeremy Stevens, I just watched him fight uh, Allen today, and Jeremy Stevens put it on him. Did he? On who? Yeah, on uh, Allen. No, not Arnold. Uh, Emmett. Oh. I'm sorry, on Emmett. Emmett, okay. You, you seen that fight? He's a long time ago. That, he hit him with that elbow, right? He elbowed him the on elbow? the bottom. He hit him with a uh, like a left hook, dropped him, got mm-hmm. on top of him, was raining elbows on him, had him sleep sleep. I think so we're all sleeping on that. Josh Emmett, though. I think we are sleeping on Josh. Yeah. He, uh, he looked like your boy Alex. They could be cousins. Who <laughs> both? I'm yeah. Gonna, no. Nah, bro. No. <laughs> listen, listen. They both look like Emmett. Look like he from the Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah, no, <laughs> your boy, your boy Emmett, look like he from the Aryan Brotherhood. Oh my god! Damn. With all that green on his on his ink, huh? And the skin. Listen, head. book it right now. Volkanovski and Yair Parlay run it. You I taking both? You you for sure taking both? I am not, I mean the the one hundred percent um prediction will be next week. week. I don't wanna Damn, drop it off. Week. I don't wanna oh, drop man. it off, but we are definitely trending toward Volkanowski, Yair, Parlay, run it. And if I say run it, I mean it's a guarantee. fucking tea. <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 y'all listen to him. Yeah, don't I don't, I'm, I'm I don't care. Hold on to your money. I was, yeah, um, I'm uh, going for Volk. If, if Volkanovski wins, I will be mouth wide open, shocked, absolutely shocked. But I, I just I don't, don't see any way. I don't, I, I don't see a way. Let's save it for God. next week. We'll, we'll There's just always we'll, a way. We'll dive in it. There's yeah. always a way. Yeah. Well, he better find it. That's for next sure. week. Next week we'll do a deep dive on that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Facts. Because I already got Facts. some opinions. Facts. Quick question for everybody. <clears throat> My question is, right, I know we've talked about who's your MMA GOAT. Should you be even in the discussion for the MMA GOAT if you had anything to do with s- drugs at all? 
Well, I think that depends on what. I mean, times were different back then, right? Everybody was on drugs, so it was an even playing field. If you weren't on drugs, that's on you, right? Versus now where you're going through the, you know, athletic commissions, you have to, like, meet these standards. So if it was pre-USADA, you could be considered the goal. But if you were busted after USADA for drugs, then I feel like you should be taken out of the rankings. Or out so of the John rankings. Jones is I does not have a trade. I would say, Anderson Sylvan's out. I would say, yeah, it, it has to be a clean fighter, like a like a DC, where you could see his body and tell they, this man wasn't on drugs. <laughs> hey, hey I, I just want to acknowledge the fact that Damien said USADA. Like, you speak Spanish? Me? No. Yeah. You, but bit. when you say USADA, it's like, you know, like usually in Spanish, they'll say U, you know, for instead of you. But that's it. Yeah. Carnia, USADA. Yeah. Carnia, yeah. yeah. USADA. That's how it is. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Jay? Oh, CJ Scott, y'all want to weigh in? I think oh, that it's, it, right, exactly. <laughs> I think I think that is tough for me to say because uh, if if I like really had to be honest about it, I would say no. I would say no. Like if you if you popping, yeah, I mean that that's tainting you. Who, who are wait, you saying wait, that? No, wait, wait. Can, can you explain? If you're saying no, you cannot be goat. Is that what you're saying? Not on my you, goat list. Not on okay. my goat list. I, I I I thought you were saying you can be goat. Sorry. Yeah. No, like, cause I like it's easy to say, oh, you know, everybody, they, it's easy to say, like, oh, I just assume everybody's on it, so I'm not gonna hold it against anybody. But it's like, ah, if you ain't been caught, I mean, I can't say that you own something. Like, I like you just can't do that. Um, so for me, it's like, mm, no, I can acknowledge your skills. You know what I mean? I think it's really unfortunate as far as TJ because TJ was that is that dude. But at the same time, like now I'm questioning like everything before then. Like it's just. Real quick, fuck that motherfucker. Because I remember <laughs> listening to his Joe Rogan podcast, of, and he had me believing that science is. Oh man, like I gotta prick my finger every day, and it tells me all the the blood count and blah 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 and blah blah blah. Motherfucker, you were doing the Jamba Juice. Yeah, like, Jace you, was writing this shit down. Yeah, I remember though. He this nigga had ab, he had fucking veins running through his abs. I'm like, come on, bro. And still looking yoked up, like muscly. Nah, bro, that ain't natural. <laughs> what about you, CJ? Um, shit, they're gonna be on my goal list. I don't fucking, I okay. care, but on my list, it's like I can't stop what I've seen personally. You know, yeah. and other people will be like they're not on the goal list, but do I really, really care? I do because it's fucked up. But on my list, like, like say John. He was whooping motherfuckers' asses before that shit even came out when he was young, like the legends. Um, Anderson Silva, he was beating people up before that shit came out. Go ahead, Jay. Well, is it is it that it came out or when they got caught, right? Because that's, that's right. that has to be in the equation. It has to be in the equation to say, you know, yeah, like maybe they just, I mean, it's like TJ, right? TJ said, oh, I only did it this one time. Do I believe that he did it this one time? Absolutely fucking not. Your boy Cody said he's been on it for years, right? So I have to just kind of think that all your shit is tainted at that point. Mm-hmm. Is all your stuff tainted? Probably not. But you I just got, got it. a bad cycle. You got caught in the middle of a cycle. Correct. That's what happened. Like <laughs> Uncle Chell talks about it all the time. Uncle Chell's like, listen, he I think I watched the video and he was like, listen, I took it. I knew exactly what was going on. And I knew that like if they came on this day, I was gonna fail. But if they don't come on that day, yeah, I'm good. But it's just, he's competing against people who tested clean. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing. If if it was like back in the days where everybody was on the shit, like that's a different story. But right. like when when you pass that 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 marker in history, where it's like, all right, this is when the Usada is going to be taken over, and if you're not clean, like you a dirty fighter, then that's what it is, and that unfortunately tarnished his his uh relationship with the with the people especially because this man was gloating talking this this and that and then when he got caught he was like yeah 
And he's like, yeah, I got caught. Like, I did it. And it's like, okay, now you're switching up. Oh, now you're on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jake? Um, so I think for me, at the end of the day, we have to have repercussions, right? And when we talk about any goat list, no matter what goat list you got, like you really like can't go wrong. Like if you say Michael LeBron, like either guy, you can't go wrong with either one, right? But you got to start splitting hairs. So if I like, I'm I'm well, I'm with you, CJ. Like yes, I know what my eyes saw, but to be on that prestigious list of goat, can't do it, dog. You piss dirty, and people get to. But also, you know, at the end of the day, I always say like, who who gives like your goat, my goat, will. These are all opinions. Like they are on me shit. At the end For of the sure. Day. <laughs> but, but everybody's goat is like, nigga, you think Fader's a goat? Like, so like it don't fucking matter at the but, end of the day what C.J. Johnson thinks of the fighter from but, ten years ago. But what does matter is competing against someone who's not popping you half pop. That does fuck them out because you can kill somebody. Man, there's a reason they're taking steroids. You gotta understand that. There's a reason. See, but you're talking you about goat like shit, the greatest time. of all time. Like one hundred percent. And I think that that's why when we're talking about the greatest of all time, it's like if, if all of a sudden we found out that Michael Phelps was on EPO mm-hmm. while he was getting all the medals, that's a that's a no for me. That's a no because you're in the Olympics, you're up there with the elite, and you're knowingly cheating. Ah, we like, like, yeah, you still did it. You like, you went out there, but we know what EPL does. Like, it helps with your cardio. It allows you to be able to uh, push past like the yeah. normal limits. You know what I mean? Yes. So, like, that's why for me personally, I say like, oh, you know, like if you pop, I mean, you can still be great. You can still be great, right? I think John the- Jones is super athletic. He's amazing. And, like him, you know, with the guillotine dropping Leonardo Machida lives written free in my head. Every day I think about that. There's not a day that goes by that I don't just see him letting that body fall. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, nah, he could be somebody's goal. And I'm cool if people are like, hey, I don't care if I don't care about steroids, just let these boys bang. Yeah. Hey, I'm cool with that too. But like, yeah, like you said, like it's my opinion and on my opinion list, I can't do it. Yeah. Because it, it's harder. And that's to also a thing if, like, this, if you're clean, straight up, never been never been popped clean straight motherfucking killer that's a special person to me yes yeah you haven't ever done that well I, you might have right but you got clean or you never got caught that's the thing right we don't really know because motherfuckers are sneaky with this shit these days it could be little little tiny like picograms that aren't popping up or whatever because they doing the cycle right so but i'm saying based off of like people who have popped and people who are who are like, you could tell that they're a clean person, they're a clean athlete based off of their like body composition and stuff. Those like, I recognize as like a, a greater fighter, which most of those people have losses on their records, by the way. <laughs> you, you, if you're a clean fighter, you probably got a, a loss on your record or two. So to me, if, if that's the thing, I feel like if steroid use was a thing, I think they should be banned from the sport then. Don't let them come back. You know, if that's the thing, get them out of there. Because that's the thing, too. TJ that, shouldn't come back. It, John it, shouldn't come back. It really changes your, your body composition, though. Like, but, you, like these Russian fighters, you look at them, some of them are motherfucking strong, bro. And I guarantee you they took steroids as, like, athletes going through their teenage years and stuff. And that mm-hmm. shit sticks to your DNA. Like, yeah, you'll lose body mass and stuff. But you're still strong as fuck because you grew up with these steroids running through your system. So you've always been lifting heavier and squeezing tighter and shit. That's you what know? Bobby Green was saying about Islam and 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 them. I, which I can imagine. I I see that as a and real... and Islam did pop. <laughs> oh, did he? I didn't know that. Yes, exactly. Nobody talks about it. Just like Brian Ortega was cheating, and he popped in 2014. Uh, but yeah, Islam did pop, and then you saw the deemed it. Not his fault, but they also didn't say how and or why. So, like, who got it in there then? Well, um, I can speak to that a little bit. Russia is known for their state sponsored steroid program. That's mm-hmm. even why now in the Olympics you don't see Russia as a country, you know what I mean? Yeah. The federation, you know, they're not allowed to use it, but they've been known over the years, numerous Olympics, to have state sponsored steroids. 
for their elite athletes who they find out at a young age. Um, they, they, they ping for, for being greatness. Yo, come in this room real fast and hit you with this Jamba Juice. You'll be all right. Shout out to Jamba Juice, Aloha Pineapple. Um, so we'll see. Athletes, yeah, they fucking building them in a lab. That's why. <laughs> I will crush the American. <laughs> <laughs> Drag off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jace, you never said you never finished. That's what she said. Um, so I guess, <laughs> I guess for me, um, yeah, it does matter. It does matter. You cannot be on my MMA GOAT list. Um, or you can be, again, a great, as Sky so eloquently put it, you can be on there, but you can't be the king of kings. Because like DC said, uh, when the UFC was trying to defend John Jones and Dana White was going to come, oh, it's a picogram. It's like taking a drop and putting it into a pool. DC said, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sounds good. You know who's never even had a picogram? This guy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Facts. Facts. I think, I think also, like, because DC retired in the middle of the pandemic, like, and we see him all the time, he's doing commentary, like, we don't really give DC that, the love that he really should receive. Like, DC, aside from John Jones, DC was that dude. I give him love. I always give him love. Like, I, I really mess with DC, too. And when he was interviewing old boy and old boy was trying to get rowdy with him and he put him in his place, he's like, hey, oh. you didn't beat me. Jeez. Hey, you talking to him. <laughs> 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 ass, bro. Suplex you. <laughs> hey, he had to finger out and all. <laughs> yeah. And you just call, bro, knowing you tired and I'm fresh, like, bro, you don't want it. Yep. There was only a point in time where it was only John Jones. And DC, and DC premier that had the boat at, at the belt at a two hundred five. Yep, for ten years, it was only them two. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, we we gotta like just keep those people at the forefront. Um, yeah, yeah. But that's a wrap for us. We will be back next week. I think next week I would really like. Aside from going over the pay per view, I would really like to go over like what you guys think is the best weight division? Because when I first got on TikTok, like they was going crazy about uh, Jay Perry and saying 135 was the best. And they was like 155. So I definitely want to talk about like which cu- division currently, not like in the past, but currently you think is the best. Um, and yeah. Jay, what was the best in the past? No, nah, we're going to save it. We're going to save it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming he's saying 145. 55. You think so? Oh, 145? You think nah. so? Why you talk about uh, Mr. Rio? King of Rio? Oh, he's talking about Evan? Oh, he's talking about John Cena. <laughs> 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 uh, anyways, we will be back. Peace out, you guys. Hope you enjoy it and have a good one. Late, late.